Hello, and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. We got a fun build today. We're going to do a resto mod on this Hot Wheels Plymouth Fury Police Cruiser. Now, the reason we're going to call it a resto mod is because we're going to change up the paint job a little bit. This car originally came with the hood and the trunk painted black. Well, what we're going to do here is we're going to paint the two front fenders black and the two rear quarter panels black. This is per request of the subscriber who sent me this car. Now, this is going to be a pretty simple build and a pretty simple restoration. But, you know, we're, we're going to put some brand new red lines on there and we're going to give it some really nice clear coat and use some uh, restoration decals from second chance red lines. Go ahead and grab your favorite adult beverage and sit back and relax as we do a resto mod on this police car. Here I've got the post already drilled out. Now the windshield on this is broken. I happen to have another one that I can replace it with. But we're going to get the paint stripped on this one and get the post drilled. This one here has got the real tiny post, so we're going to have to use the 1 16th inch drill bit and the 1 72 screws. If you go larger on that, you're going to drill out the post and you're going to ruin the car. So you don't want to use the 256 screws. Interior is in good shape, but again, this glass has to be replaced. Here's the base. Now, it didn't have any tires on it. But you got to be careful with these ones because the axles are actually crimped in. And if you happen to break any bearings or anything like that, you're in a world of hurt. Here's the police globe. We're going to clean it up as best as we can and dip it into the Pledge Revive. Here we've got the body. We're going to put it in the embalming fluid. Or in this case, citrus strip. Since we're going to be doing a complete paint job on this we're going to go ahead and do the inside and the outside of the body I recommend you do that anyway let this drip off as best you can and here we're just going to set it aside let's go ahead and move on meanwhile back in the graveyard here we've got the super clean I'm going to put the interior in the super clean and we're going to let that soak for a while, and then we're going to get back at it with a toothbrush and get it all cleaned up. We'll just go ahead and set that aside. Here's the base. We're going to use this abrasive wheel, and we're going to get a lot of the tarnish off there. And then we'll give it a quick polish with the flitz. Boy, that sure took off all that tarnish for sure. We might not need to use the flitz on this one. That's pretty darn cool. Here's the body. We're going to use this Tamiya surface primer and we're going to give it a really good coat. Now make sure that you apply this sparingly in light coats. You can build it up but you don't want to build it up too much where it's saturated and it runs. So light coats only please. I lost the footage of me taping off the fenders but you get the general idea. We taped off the quarter panels and we went ahead and painted those black. Now we also taped up the windows here because we didn't want that black paint leaching underneath. Here we're going to apply the decals. I got these decals from Second Chance Red Lines. Go ahead and get them centered on the doors. If you want a good idea where these go, do a search on the internet for this particular police car under Hot Wheels and you should be able to find plenty of pictures of this car to find out exactly where the decals go. Squeegee out all your water using your Q-tip there and then go ahead and turn it around and do the other side. There's only two decals with this particular car. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell to be alerted to any future videos that come out. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Now check back and forth on the other side of the car. So when you put the, the decals on, you put them in approximately the same location. Something to be aware of. 
here we go. Now notice how the word police is right above the indentation on the lower part of the door. And again, like I said, make sure that you match it up with the other side. Go ahead and squeegee out your excess water. And then you're going to let your decals sit at a minimum overnight, a, a full day as possible. Uh, it's the best case scenario if you happen to let it set for a full day. Looking good. Let's go ahead and move on to the next procedure. This is turning out excellent. Very simple and clean, but cool. Okay, here we got the base. We're gonna put on some new tires. Here I found this other windshield and it was cracked also, but you're not gonna see that crack. So I went ahead and glued it and we're gonna put that in the car. Interior looks good after we got it out of the super clean. Here's the base. That looks good after buffing it up. Let's go ahead and put some meats on this car. We got four medium meats we're gonna put all the way around and I got these tires at the Redline shop. Check out the Redline shop folks, they got a lot of stuff, not only for your Redline restorations, but for all your custom Hot Wheels needs. And you can use these paints on other, car, other brands of cars and stuff, it only comes down to your imagination. Lightly put on the wheels without having to bend the axle or forcing them. That's looking good. Now take your red line tool, put it between the bearing and the butt and the base, and then push it on with your thumb. Just be careful you don't bend the axle. Now we'll straighten out those wheels a little bit so they sit nice and flat. There we go, just like that. Just be careful. That's starting to look really good and they all roll nice and free. Let's go ahead and move on and we'll do some detail. Here we've got the body. We're going to use this red Sharpie marker and we're going to do in the tail lights. Now these Sharpie markers are fantastic on bare metal. If you happen to get any off the light and onto the rest of the body of the car, Either use a Q-tip with some paint thinner or some alcohol and it will take it right off. Now if you keep drawing over the same spot eventually, it's going to put a bunch of lines in the marker that you put down. So be careful there, don't color it in too much. Even if you let it dry and come back in, it's going to make that marker that you put on prior wet again and it's going to smear around and leave lines in it. So once you got everything covered, go ahead and leave it alone. Got the back end done. That looks really good. It's real simple. We colored in the grill and we colored in the headlights. That's fantastic. Don't forget to check out the Redline shop again, folks. What a fantastic place to get your stuff. Looking good. Here we've got all of our parts. We got the body. What a fantastic paint job. We clear coated over that and the decals. Here's the base with four brand new tires and we detailed up the lights, the headlights and the grill. Here's the interior, we cleaned it up with super clean and a toothbrush. And here's the windshield. Yes, I know the interior's cracked or the, the glass, but we fixed it and it'll work. Someone is being exhumed. <laughs> And here's what we started with. This Hot Wheels Plymouth Fury Police Cruiser. Now this one's in pretty rough shape. But you know what? We took the time with it. We took it apart. We evaluated what we had. And we corrected all the mistakes or all the errors that this car has. We stripped it all down. If we needed some sandpaper to smooth something out, we did. We repainted the car and the reason we're calling this a resto mod is because it doesn't match the original paint job. Other than that, this is a restoration. But like I say, we took the car apart, we put brand new wheels on it, a brand new paint job. We clear coated the paint job with paint and clear coat and everything else from the Redline shop. 
So please check out the Redline shop. Like I said, they got a whole bunch of stuff. And not only the Spectre Flame paints, but they got some wonderful opaque paints also. And here's the final result. Look at how nice this car turned out. Absolutely beautiful. I love how this turned out. We uh, used the black and we used the white from the Redline shop. We used the clear coat from the Redline shop. We fixed the windshield. We clear coated the globe on top of the car and changed it out from a red to a blue. And this car looks absolutely stunning. My friend Steve, who is a subscriber of the channel, he sent me this car and he said, Paul, please fix this car and make it look nice. And I believe that we accomplished our mission. Now, folks, I've got a Patreon page, and I sure could use your help. The subscription fees that people pay go to buying supplies so I can keep the videos going for you. So please check out Patreon team in the comments. This video is brought to you by the Redline Shop. The Redline Shop offers a complete line of products for your die-cast restoration needs, such as hoods for your car, glass tops for your car, those beautiful red line tires, and of course the world famous Spectre Flame paints. What a great product. The Redline Shop at www.redlineshop.com where red lines come to life. I want to say thank you for joining me today on Diecast Graveyard. I had a wonderful time making these videos for you. Please subscribe, please give the video a thumbs up, and we got a lot more videos coming down the road. My name was Paul with Diecast Graveyard. Leave your comments and I'll answer your comments. Cheers and have a great day.